And now it's time to meet our next guest, our guest on the show this morning. They have one of the best winning percentages in international rugby. These Manawahine are experts in dedication and representing our country. Welcome Blackburn, a media rule and sevens try scoring star Portia Woodman. Yay! <laughs> hey ladies. Kia ora, Serena. Kia ora. Thanks for joining us. Take a seat. Kia ora. Man, like, look at these ladies, you think. And you play rugby as well. <laughs> Beautiful and sporty. Well, first of all, thanks for joining um, us here at Tukaha. And uh, Amelia, you've just returned from the Women's Rugby World Cup where, prior to the tournament, Black Ferns four times winning yep, champs. that's right, four times. Lost um, against Ireland. We How did, we did. Um, yeah, obviously, like you said, four-time world champion, which yeah. goes back to 98, so yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a long time. And, um, yeah, we were hoping to, to achieve that milestone of five, but um, yeah. fell short in, in our pool round, losing to Ireland. So yeah. hasn't been easy, wasn't not easy the over there. Man. No, not at all. And, um, and I guess some of the old heads like myself, yeah. been there for a while, it was, it was about picking ourselves up and, and still yeah. holding ourselves with pride and with mana and, and representing that jersey to finish, yeah, cool. finish strong. So yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And for both of you, you know, playing women's rugby in New Zealand, it, it, um, it's internationally quite highly rated. Do you feel a lot of pressure being women playing the sport? I think we put the pressure on ourselves because we have that you have that standard of the black jersey and you have yeah. that standard of having the fern on your, sh on your shirts yeah. and having it over your heart and um, yeah. you just know there's a lot of pride that comes with the jersey and yeah. representing your country. Yeah. So that, is that what it felt like when you first put on the jersey, the black jersey, is that what it's all about for you guys? Yeah, it's all about, for me it was all about my family and, and where yeah. I'd come from, my, my club where I, where I started playing, yeah. all my mates. Um, yeah. And I always think about that when I when I wear that jersey is yeah. you know where I've come from and how lucky I mm. am to have the opportunity to you know represent my country and I guess challenge yourself on the world yeah. stage. So, well, that's yeah. cool. And exciting news that in the next Olympics is going to be the first ever seven. So, what's the road to uh, Rio look like for you? Yeah, so road to Rio, um, we have yeah. a new series. <laughs> the series starts up in December this yeah. year. And um, this year's season is the Olympic qualifying year, yes, so we've got to go qualify to, first. Yeah, yeah, we've got to get to so, top four of the series. Obviously, a lot of training, but for you, like mentally, emotionally, how do you, you know, how do you prepare for this? So we have a lot of mental skills sessions yeah. with the program, and we have someone who either comes to our region or we go see them. Yeah, yeah. Um, we do a lot of prep around managing pressure, managing. Hey, nerves cool. and all that stuff, mm. yeah. which really helps, obviously, because so you get onto a field. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get onto the field, you have this massive crowd and you can't help but feel yeah. a whole lot of butterflies. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we do a lot of training with mental yeah. skills. Cool. And speaking of being on the field, you guys have both performed the haka before you, before a game. What's that like? Mama, mamaku Aotearoa, which is playing right now. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it's about um, it's about women um, being strong. Um, yeah. prestige, it's quite aggressive, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Strong and prestige women um, coming together from all parts of New Zealand and surrounding islands. And it's about Kona uh, Mamaku Aotearoa, which is um, the woman of New Zealand yeah. standing tall and proceeding and taking on a challenge. Yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, always goosebumps before the before yeah. the game. Um, having to do the haka and preparing yeah. for that, so yeah. That is so cool, I love that haka. And, and that is our pātau o te wiki. Um, our mana wahine for our viewers at home, are they intimidating or attractive? What's your guys' take on that? I would find it attractive to see a woman who can hold herself and yeah. be strong within herself and not necessarily need a man, but has the choice of wanting a man or yeah. wanting a partner that can combine and make them equal, you know? It'd yeah. be awesome to see someone like that. Yeah, that is awesome. Big yeah. mana wahine yourselves. And Tukaha, you down with me? Welcome back to Tukaha. We have been joined by rugby superstars, uh, Amelia and Portia, and it's time to get to know you a little bit better with a round of quick fire questions. All you have to do is answer as fast as you can. Sweet. Okay, you ready? Uh, who's the best dancer in the team? Me. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Um, who would win carry a karaoke match out of you two? Oh, her. Oh, oh, probably not. Yeah. I can't hold a note. <laughs> Comedy or musical? Comedy. Comedy, yeah. Oh, nice. High heels or high tops? High heels. High heels. Uh, Julian Savia or Corey Jane? Corey Jane, Savia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's, who's your favourite sports person? Mm. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Joan Alamo. Joan Alamo. And the best thing about playing rugby? 
winning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good job, ladies. That was very entertaining.